Hi everyone, Jason here from TGN. All right, so this is our first live event uh, on Facebook, and basically what happens is uh, we'll be doing something different and something unique. Okay, so hang on. Wait, uh, let me reduce my. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, do note that uh, because we are doing live on Facebook at the same time, we are recording into YouTube. All right, uh, if you're looking at this recording, don't worry. All right. Uh, but those on Facebook do note that uh, there's a slight lag in time. Okay, so there's a little bit of lagging in terms of the video and the sound. Okay, but uh, let's not move into that. Uh, let's focus more on the topic today. Okay, so the main uh, brand that I'm talking about today is uh, Microtech. Okay, so as we all know that uh, Microtech has been launching quite a number of uh, products recently. And right here in my hands right now is one of the newest and latest products. And I think I'll be one of the first few other than Microtech to be opening up a brand new product for all to see. Okay, uh, as you can see right now, um, this is the latest and newest packaging from Microtech. And what happens is they have actually include a seal. All right, so this is the factory seal from the Microtech to ensure to make sure that the product that you're getting is brand new and original. Okay. And what I'm going to unbox today is basically a hub series router. Okay, and I'm going to talk about it. It's called the hub AC cube. Okay, hub AC three. Some people call it hub AC three. Some people call it hub AC cube. Okay, because it's just three. Okay, so I'm going to be opening up this new router. Okay, for those who have seen the data sheet for this new router, it's basically with two external antennas, five gigabit LAN ports, and then basically the Wi-Fi. Okay. Now, uh, without much ado, let's get into opening the unit, okay? After all, this is the unboxing first, okay? We'll be doing the unboxing, having out the item on display, and then we'll talk about it on the product, and then we'll see what we can do with this, okay? Now, alright, so without much ado, I'm going to cut open the unit itself. Okay, I'm going to open up the unit now. Ta-da! Okay. So here we have the power adapter, okay, the screws, the quick user guide, as usual, okay, and followed by the unit itself, okay, let me take it up, let me take it up from the plastic protection, okay. Alright, so basically this is the unit itself and this is the back of the unit. So you have two SMA ant antenna connectors, okay, uh, AC power, reset button, one WAN port, four LAN ports, one USB, and then you have a mode button. Uh, so what's that? Uh, product introduction, okay. So this is the unit itself, this is the first time I'm looking at it, okay. So this is the front, okay, so on the front here you can see all the LED lights, okay. I'm not going to switch it on, so it's still brand new. Okay, and you have a stand. Okay, so there's a stand that has been uh, made for it. So more than likely, it's just going to stand up on the stand. Okay, and you have two high gain antennas. Okay, I'm going to close back the box. Okay, and leave the box on the side. Okay, so I'm going to remove the antennas. Okay, let's take a look at the antennas. I've not seen these antennas before from Microtech. Alright. Oh. Ah, the plastic is sealed. Okay. So I need to open up in order to gain access to it. Okay. Okay, so basically what happens is I'm going to attach the antenna to it, okay? And let's see how it looks on the overall scale, um, being the first in Singapore and also maybe in Asia, okay? So, alright, so it's a very broad antenna, okay? You can see here, definitely uh, at least I'll say minimum 5 dBi, okay? So to attach it, all you have to do is just remove the caps from the SMA connector, okay, and very gently screw it in, okay, so you can screw it in and you have two antennas, okay, and you should be able to turn it and adjust it to the angle that you like, 
okay like so and that's it okay so on the table display this is how you look like all right with the two antennas all right so now very quickly again you have the USB port, okay, the USB port, you can't use any 3G, 4G router, but uh, modems, but basically you use it as your FTP for your storage, okay. So as usual, uh, this is using a ARM 32-bit CPU, okay, it has four, C four core CPU, okay, and it comes default with the router OS license level 4, alright. The RAM is 256 megabits, alright, and megabytes, and then the storage space, it has 128 megabytes, alright, and it says using NAND storage, okay. Now, in terms of the price, okay, so since I'm in Singapore, I'll just quote the Singapore price. The landed price inclusive of tax, okay, for Singapore is we are retailing this for $170, okay. In Singapore, we're retailing this unit, this router for $170, okay, together with the power adapter and all the things, and it comes with one year warranty. Now, the next thing that I want to cover into is the wireless capabilities. Okay, so basically, in terms of wireless capability, there is uh, it's a 2x2 two two radio. Okay, so there's two transmitting radio and two receiving radio. Okay, uh, the antennas, you can turn it around. Okay, okay, so basically what happens is, as you see the router itself, you will see that um, the configuration will be just as per normal with the Ethernet Wang. Okay, you can't use the USB for 3G or 4G, okay, but you have all your gigabit LANs, alright, which you can do, but you can't configure any of the LAN ports to be any other function other than being a switch, okay, in this case, because the position of this product is basically to be a Soho router, okay, because basically it's a home router, alright, and with the wireless capability, alright. So let's take a look at the wireless capability, so basically you have a... Um, the antenna is basically Wi-Fi 4, alright, so you have 5 gig at 867, you have your 2.4 gig at 300, so it's a 1167, so it basically gets it around 11 AC 1200, okay, and the uh, antenna gain for the 5 giga, 5 giga bit at 5 gigahertz is basically 5.5 dBi, the antenna gain for the 2.4 is basically 3 dBi. Okay, so it can actually reach very, very far. Okay, now in terms of Singapore context, um, this will definitely be more than sufficient to cover uh, most apartments, okay, I would say, except for houses. And also the land capability is definitely also there for you to handle all the internet connectivities that we have. Okay, now, other than that, should you have any questions, uh, do feel free to write a comment and uh, don't forget to please like our video and also subscribe to our video and our channel, okay. Now, um, another thing that we have to talk about is you can also power this using passive PoE. Okay, so that's one option if you don't wish to use the standard AC power. Okay, now if you use the PoE, okay, so there's PoE in and then there will be PoE out. Okay, so how do we do it? So the Wang portion you have PoE in and then you have PoE out. Alright, so that's where you do it. But the thing is, in will be passive, out will also be passive. Okay, so do take note of that. All right. So another thing that we want to talk, talk, talk about is basically this unit is right now open. So basically we have it for sale. All right. And of course, being that the retail price is $170, okay, we can't really sell it uh, at $170. So we are definitely open to anyone to offer us a price for it. Okay. Someone um, is asking about the Wi-Fi 6. Okay. So for Microtix Wi-Fi 6, um, there isn't anything per se for this year, okay? Nothing has come out per se for this year as of now that we know of from uh, Microtik. If there are, we will definitely be one of the first few. Uh, we will definitely do an unboxing also on our Facebook, on our YouTube channel. And we will also give you an update on that, okay? I hope that answers your questions on the Wi-Fi 6, okay? Anyone else have any other questions? I'm also monitoring uh, the comments as I am presenting, all right? I have my phone here actually next to me. Okay, so um, as you can see and know that from our YouTube channel and also from our Facebook channel, um, we are also a reseller. So we also sell the products that we do unboxing on and we talk about and also in terms of solution. Okay, so should there be any solutions that you hope and wish to look into and for us to show you and test and show it to you, uh, do let us know. 
send us a note or drop us a comment and if we can do it we will definitely do it um, but of course um, sometimes before we do it we have to seek the approval of the vendors so basically the manufacturers and to make sure that they are okay with us doing it okay so basically that's what has been transpiring there will be more new products coming in December okay so we are definitely having some more stuff coming in December okay we will be also doing an unboxing for another product okay um, basically um, so do stay tuned for it okay uh, we will definitely make some announcements before we do the unboxing okay right so uh, if there are no more questions then I will end the live stream today okay so this being our first time being live on Facebook I hope you guys enjoy it I know there are some hiccups in the front okay we will try to improve on it and make sure that it doesn't happen again all right so um, this is Jason here thank you very much for watching and have a good day